Hi, I'm Zane with Zane Engineers Life. Comment as you watch, please. Really helps us out. So you're thinking of leaving your company. Maybe you got a bad boss, you've been disrespected, it's boring, the work's not exciting anymore, there's office politics. Maybe you don't see a future there. And well, you've looked around and there's some other jobs out there that seem cooler and all the news and what everyone's telling you is you might could get some more money too. So it's time to go, right? Well, is it? Here's a thought. And that's really the message of today. Have you done everything that you could do at the job you're at? Really take a look at the company that you're working for. Then really take a look at your goals, your wheel of life, your path, and your plan forward. Are you sure there is nothing there that can help you with your future? When you look at those goals and you look at this job, are you sure there's nothing there? Have you connected with everyone that works there? Are there some key people you need to talk to? Have you talked to your suppliers? Have you made some connections? Have you had a conversation with your boss about what you see and what you're thinking? And have you taken the owner to lunch to talk business? Well, Zane, what do you mean? Take the owner to lunch? Actually let the boss know you're thinking about leaving? Isn't that risky? Well, here's an example for you. One of my guys back in the day turned in his resignation. And during our discussion, I, I asked him to tell me about it. Like, where did we fail? And he said, well, I, I love the job and I love what I'm doing, but I really wanted to move to North Carolina. Well, I was floored. I was like, you do realize that we just landed a bunch of work in North Carolina and we're thinking about putting a few guys in place in North Carolina. Like, why didn't you mention it? And he was like, I didn't think you'd want to do it. Now, the funny thing was, he actually had to move to Jacksonville, Florida for a couple of years to then get to move to North Carolina. Well, we would have moved him immediately. So an opportunity was lost on both sides. Now, what's my point? Well, you're thinking of leaving anyway, right? So what's the risk? Is there something you've missed? Maybe you could change roles or switch departments or maybe work into a different job title. Is there an area that maybe you want to start that your company doesn't do? Well, talk to the big boss. They may be thinking about doing this already and actually looking for someone to run it. Maybe you're their person. Have you connected with all the resources that are in the company? So one of my old guys had considered a move and he started working with another department and he gained some key skills that he then used to get to do things in his department that they hadn't been doing before. And now he's been there nearly 20 years, absolutely crushing it because he took the chance, went out on a limb and found what he was looking for at the company he was working for. Now let's do something that I do a lot. Let's look at it from the other perspective. Have you ever been broken up with? It kind of sucks, right? Well, what if you found out that they were leaving because you'd never taken them to the movies and you really like going to the movies, they just never mentioned it and you can't really read minds, right? So the point is speak up. If you're not happy and you're not completely fulfilled in your job or even your relationship, you need to speak up. Tell the other side what you're seeing from your perspective and what you're looking for. And you know what? It might just actually be there. And maybe you didn't even see it because they didn't know it was what you wanted and you never communicated it. Now, another point of this advice, maybe you're missing the true opportunity that's there. When you hold up your current job with the lens of your future goals, and you lay them over each other, do they align? Is there something at the company you're at or someone you need to work with or a customer or a supplier you need to meet that would help you achieve your goals? And I'll give you an example. When I worked at a big aircraft company, a friend of mine worked there and he had gotten really burned out. The place was too boring and he was thinking about leaving. 
So instead, he looked around for a little bit, and he noted that we had something really off the wall there. It was a wind tunnel. And what he did is he went over there after work each day and started meeting people, and he eventually transferred over to the wind tunnel. Well, while he was there, he met up with a bunch of NASCAR teams that were using it for testing cars, and he ended up making a connection that ultimately led him to working for NASCAR. And dude really loved racing. All he really had to do from the beginning was just look around. The opportunity was right there in front of us. And opportunity surrounds us. Don't just throw out what you have and where you are until you're sure that you have all of the juice squeezed out of that orange. Are you thinking of leaving? Well, here's your step-by-step. -step. Okay. Number one, review and update your wheel of life and your goals. Look for patterns, for trends in your numbers. Is it work or something else that's bothering you? Make sure it's the work side is what it is. Now with this new lens and these new goals in front of you, look at your job and look at the company and see them in a whole new light. Is there something or someone you're missing? Are you sure? Quick question. If I gave you a million dollars to find an opportunity that you're missing, what is it? Then take action. If you see an opportunity, go get it. If you see no opportunity whatsoever, well, that's the time to talk to your boss and let the owners know what you see and ask them if there's an opportunity because you might be surprised. Then you need to pull the trigger. Jump to the new opportunity or go get your new one. Just make sure that you don't already have what you're looking for right under your nose. Like and share for me. Let this play all the way to the end. That helps us out. I'm Zane with Zane Engineers Life, and we'll make you better.